Good morning, Shmuel Chantal, the running tour guide. Wow, what a start to the vlog. Next to Barkan Winery with some divine folk. Today we have Daniel Morris, Daniel Cohen, Amir Kozakaro, and Shmuel, the running tour guide. Morning. morning, morning. We have no idea what we're doing today. We are running, that's true. And uh, we're on the edge of Khulda and Barkan Winery, the largest barrel house in Israel. 5,000 barrels of wine. 5,000 barrels of wine. If one of these bunches should land in the press, he'll be turned into kosher wine. <laughs> Yummy. We're six and a half k's in. Oh. We've been gently rolling on the hills of the Shvela. Very difficult to translate that term Shvela, but the closest we can come are the foothills. So Daniel, who designed the course, said it's an ice flat course. <laughs> but we've been rolling, rolling, rolling like a runner. It's been fun, it's been good, we've experienced a beautiful sunrise, but hey, we ran around the hay, and now we are skirting Mishmar David. We can't see the settlement yet, but we're looking towards the morning dew, Tal Shachar, beyond that the hills of Jerusalem, and we're on a road you may have heard about before. This is actually part of the beginning of the Burma Road, hence the name Mishmar David, named after David Marcus, but today is all about appreciating the sunrise, gently rolling on the hills of the Spela, and heading to the Herzl House, and learning and learning. Acquire knowledge. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. Running and learning. And now we're running past the memorial to the engineering corps of the Israeli army who fell in 1948 trying to break open the road to Jerusalem and this memorial is in the middle of two settlements Tal Shachar Mishmar David Lo Yisa Goy El Goy Cherev Lo Yelamdu Od Milchama from the book of Isaiah nations will not lift up swords against nations and their swords will be turned into plowshares Welcome to... Father, where are we? We are at the Monument of Bravery, built in remembrance of the soldiers who opened the blockaded road to Jerusalem during the War of Independence in 1948. <laughs> The memorial stands here at the Nakhchon Junction, which serves as the central commemoration site for the fallen soldiers of the Engineering Corps. Before the War of Independence, the main road to the It's a shocking route. <laughs> Electrifying. That joke is quite current. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very current joke. Yeah. <laughs> Shocking humor, current joke, but it's an electrifying morning. And uh, wow, look at that. Look at and here we are, the beautiful homes of Mishmar David, the first kibbutz in Israel to be privatized, originally communal, 
idealistic, full of vision, settled in 1948 during, or should I say in the midst of the independence war. And today, after its farming success, turning these valleys into arable fruit producing, wine producing valleys, it's now a place sought after. Beautiful homes in the center of the country. You can see how these are still being built. Ah, oh, what a sight. Tractor with an Israeli flag. Who would have thought in the early 1900s the settlements of Khulda created the success, the connection between Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. But I want to say hello to these doggies. Oh, I wish I had four legs. Okay, we've just bumped to some guys from Khulda and we were just talking about uh, Kibbutz Khulda. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about the history? Do you know something about oh, wow. why and when it was settled? It was settled about 80 years ago. Right. And during the uh, Independence War, yeah. this was a base camp before troops went up to Jerusalem. So they set up in the forest, Right. men started climbing up. And, uh, and how, many, how many members? In, we have uh, 1,300 people living in Khulda today. Wow, and it's been privatized just like Mishmar David? Yeah. Great. What's your name? Asaf. Asaf, lovely to meet you Asaf. Yeah, cool. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Have and a, your name? Have a great run. Yuval. Yuval. Naim Oud Khebre. Shabbat shalom. Come to Modi and we'll take you around. Yeah, cool. Lovely. It's always good to meet the locals. That's what running is about. Making friends, hearing stories, sharing history. Not his story, our story. Okay, here we are now, right in between the settlements of Khulda and Mishmar David. And look at that. We have a date. Elaine heading all the way to Herzl House in between these very, very special settlements. And in brief, this little route that Daniel designed took us on the gentle rolling hills. I'll post the link in the comments if any of the locals want to come and run this route. It is a beautiful route, circular route through the vines, through the forests, memorial sites, villages, towns, locals, electrifying power lines but all in all to finish with this is just superb This is to give you an idea how humid it was this morning. O M G. Daniel. <laughs> He's a Schwitzer. That was fun. And now we have our tradition. We're going to have a Lechaim with the political father of Zionism. We've arrived at the Herzl house. Should we sit on the balcony? Let's go see. Come have a look. This house was built in 1909, the property was bought in 1905, and there he is, Theodore Herzl, the political father of Zionism, let's have a find his honor. Tirana. Herzl designed this himself. Yes. It's a place for cell phones. This is it. Put it here. Even in the early 1900s, we talk about visionaries. It's made of wood he imported from basil. Yeah, this basil. is right. And uh, perfectly suited even for larger versions. This is the uh, ThinkPad. It is the ThinkPad. iPhone 10. Yeah, iPad's on the left. Samsung 9. Look, iPad's on the left. Oh, yes, here we go. Uh, even thought about the iPad. You can do this. You can do portrait mode. Very nice. 
Don't forget your phone. Right, there's a reason for the choice of our beers. I brought the bird wiser because I've got to make my birds wiser. All right, we hope you enjoyed that little vlog of the gentle rolling hills of the Shvela. It was fun. We're going to finish with a tradition, but we're not drinking alone. We're with a visionary, Theodore Herzl. If you will it, it is no dream. Wow, where did that come from? Are you sure that's right? Yes, yeah, in German. Let's check. Wenn du willst, ist es kein Traum. That's what I said. Unbelievable. L'chaim. Yes. Shabbat Shalom. Subscribe, like, do what you got to do. Thank you. We love you. Blessings from the Holy Land. Go Theo. See you soon. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shehakol nihiyeh bidvaro. Amen.